Cosmologists study the past using light, just as archaeologists study the past using ruins. So, for example, the light that comes from a star tells us how it was back in the past. And the further away we look, the further away we can look in time. And so doing cosmology is a way of traveling to our past. I use cosmological observations to try to shed light on the dark sector. This is a map of the cosmic microwave background temperature fluctuations. Here the different colors correspond to different temperatures and so the regions with more temperature correspond to more matter and these regions with more matter uh, grew because of gravity and formed the stars and galaxies that we observe today. With my research group at Harvard, we have been using gravitational lensing in order to map dark matter fluctuations at small scales. We have been doing this in two ways. One is statistical uh, detection way in which we develop the formalism to link dark matter theories to length scales. And so this formalism helps us understand dark matter with very small masses. I have been very excited to use machine learning techniques in order to see clumps that before people have not been able to see with direct detection techniques. We will not be stuck if we don't find it. We will always think about new possibilities and think about ways in which we could look for dark matter.